Get ready, things are about to change. More traffic, parents' schedules starting earlier, and kids heading back to school. You may be all set with supplies and schedules, but APD is issuing a last minute reminder to everyone, whether you're a parent or not. News 13's Catherine Mazone is live with more this morning. Catherine? Good morning, Adam. Now, APD says they have crossing guards set up for every school, ready to keep an eye on your little ones, but they're still asking you to do your part in getting your kids to and from school safely. It's been close to three months since this was a familiar sight on your morning commute. But that's all about to change. You're going to see students driving to school again, students walking, students getting to the bus stop. It's why APD reminds you to slow down. We need people just to take their time, uh, pay more attention to their surroundings. APD officer Tanner Tashay says the faster you're going, the more time it takes to stop. But that's not the only reason to mind the speed limit. Around our first couple weeks of school, we always have our, our uh, traffic enforcement officers out in force in and around school zones, uh, making sure people are abiding by the, the rules of the school zone and, and, and driving safely. That means they'll also be on the lookout for drivers on their cell phones, talking or texting. Please, please stay off your cell phones, especially in school zones. If your child is taking the bus for the first time, make sure you both know the schedule and the bus stop location. We really highly recommend that with the little ones, the kindergartners, first, second grade, whatever the comfort level is, that the parents take them to the bus stop if possible and wait with them at least the first few times. If you're dropping your child off at the bus stop, even if he or she is a little older, APD suggests you wait until other kids show up before you leave, if you can. And if they're walking by themselves, Try to locate other parents who have kids at the same age. Um, there's the, the old adage, there's safety numbers, is, is very true. Um, getting two or three kids to walk together uh, is a lot safer than one kid walking by themselves to the school bus. Now, APS says if your kids do have a cell phone, they want to make sure that you put your phone number in there so that they can reach you if they need you. They also suggest that you get a hold of their transportation number just as a precaution. Back to you. All right, Catherine, thank you. And one more reminder is to make sure that your contact information at the school is up to date so that they can reach you if necessary. For more information and for APS's important numbers, visit our website right now, krqe.com.